So if you go to Italy, I remember Nick telling me he got when he got back from Italy, and I've been to Italy myself as well. I'm, I was a rich kid. Okay, you never left the country. I've been to Italy. It's okay. But uh, Nick was telling me he went there, and they went to a vineyard, and the the guy had his own wine brand that he made. That was called the wine was called It Is, and this guy comes up to Nick um, while he's eating, and he goes. Uh, uh, this wine, uh, Mr. Rochefort, this wine, we we make it from uh, the finest grapes, and it is the best wine in Italy. And so we simply call it uh, It Is. And uh, Nick Nick is not one to exaggerate stories or lie about what happened. And he, and he said the whole, the whole point of him telling the story was that the guy said it like, exactly that way. Like, it, that's not him exaggerating, making fun of the guy. That's how the guy came out and hit him with the fact that the wine is called It Is. It Is. And, you know, if you're in, if you're in Spain or you're in Italy, they, they roll the... Uh, like the R's? Hit, yeah, they go... Rateria, ratatia, ratatia. And these people are all assholes. I don't know if you've ever been to Spain or Italy. <clears throat> the, people, the people there are assholes. They're contemptible assholes. And I think that I think that has to do with language. I think that's because the flourishy language. If you say you want to get in a car, if I want if I want to go downstairs, I have to go downstairs. I have to open the door. I have to lock the door. I have to get in a car. And to say that, I go. I'd probably start having insane fucking thoughts if that's the <laughs> shit that's going through my head every day. I'm thinking I have to go to the refrigerator and get myself a drink, and I'm going. You'd probably you'd probably turn into a fucking freak 